Okay, today I'm gonna be taking you through all the jumps. Let's go. The first jump that I usually warm up with are my Welsh jumps, and I usually do three in a row, and the thing about them that I really like is that I like that they feel like I'm flying. So the point is to get a little bit warmed up as well as feel the split in the air. Alright, explainer time. Um, I think that for people who don't watch figure skating or participate regularly, all the jumps look the same, but there are technically six different types of jump, jumps. Six different types of jumps. Walsh jump, sow cow, toe loop, loop, flip, and lutz. And then after those singles, you go axle, double sow cow, double toe loop, double loop, double flip, double lutz. Then you go into double axle, triple sow, triple toe, triple loop, triple flip, and triple lutz. We're gonna go back to all our singles. So after Walsh jump, you learn your sow cow. And when I started learning how to skate, I took off one foot, like my left back inside edge. So it would look like this. You take your basic three turn, which is like this one, two, three, five. Nowadays, what's popular is the trend to put both feet down. So it's almost like you're taking off of two feet. So from here, then you can do it. And I have to say, for me personally, and I think most of the rest of the world, taking off of the two feet is a lot easier. So now you will see a back outside three turn. As a coach, I still teach outside three turn is a little bit more challenging for the younger skater. I don't know, coaches out there, tell me, do you already teach your, your skaters to go three turn, put their foot down? I wonder what the trend is. Moving on to the next jump, which is the toe loop. The toe loop introduces the first top jump. You tap into the ice with your left back, left back tap. And then you go off your right foot through to kick up, and then you land. Things to watch out for on toe loops. It's easy to turn it into a toe axle. So that's when someone goes like this, they tap, and then they turn forward, and then they rotate. Yes, and toe loops are an especially important jump because they are a point getter. You can attach them to virtually any landing. So every single landing usually lands on the right foot, unless you're a lefty. But for most of the world, you land on your right foot, and as you land, you can reach back top and vault the top and the top. All jumps, I guess, technically have different variations. When I learned the toe loop, I learned it from a forward inside three turn. Nowadays, I do my toe loop from a C-step, but there is also the variation to do it from a forward outside three turn. Okay, next is the loop jump, and loop jump is my favorite jump because it is an element that you have to be so confident and sure over your right side. I feel like it's the basis for all jumps because you really have to be really controlled over your right side and all you get to do is believe in yourself, kick your feet like this, and return back to your right side. Yeah, there are two types of edge jumps, sao cow and loop, and edge jumps don't have a top, so you have to trust your edge. I find that most people like one or the other, and for me, Love the loop. So let me show you what it looks like. I like it off the back double threes, but most people do it off two. This. Okay, now we're back to our top jumps. We are on the flip jump, and a flip jump is a three turn or C step with with a right. So toe loop is left foot tap, but flip 
is right foot tap. And the thing to look out for with foot is that you're supposed to be on the inside edge here with the left foot. The left foot should stay on an inside edge the whole time. And repeat. Alright, let me show you some hip jumps. I find helps skaters stay checked as they develop makes it. I wouldn't say that it's an easier takeoff, but it is a handy tool for making sure that your shoulder is checked against your hip. Yes, I think that one of the biggest mistakes that people make with foot jumps is that they drop the right shoulder which then breaks the axis so you're rotating in the air like this. So let me show you the back outside counter. Okay final jump before we move on to actual rotations. It's a Lutz jump. The Lutz jump is very similar to the flip jump. You go into it backwards and you want to hold that the problem is, I believe that most skaters can only do one or the other, flip or lutz. And for me, for me it's natural to tap on an inside. My tap goes like this, which flips my edge. So what you'll be seeing today is a flux, but you get the idea. You can still see that there's a very slight change. So now that we're through the cycle, we can start to add rotation in. So first jump, our one and a half revolution jump, the axle. Axle is a forward jump. I'm gonna put bunny hops in as the first little element that most people learn jump wise. And a bunny hop, this is what a bunny hop looks like. And you'll notice that the bunny hop really relates to the wall jump because you go like this and then you kick through, which is what you do on an axle, right? The axle is probably one of the most difficult transitions because you're starting to add rotation. So a single axle is one and a half turns. So this is when a skater starts learning you do your step, you do your kick through, and you rotate, and you land. And it is very disorienting at first to get this feeling to be very natural. But this is what it looks like. All right, moving right along, double south cow next. That's why it's one and a half turns. But now with the sow cow, the double sow cow, and the rest of the doubles, they all become two turns in the air. Moving along to double toe. Double with next. jumps that you often see on the international circuit. Well first jump, first double axle. This jump actually took me a really long time to learn. It's kind of the same as a single axle. It's that first foray into adding another rotation and even though it's only half a turn, it becomes really difficult. I spent something like four years learning this jump and I think because I spent so much time learning it, it's one of my favorites. Okay, so we're 
actually gonna skip the triple zaka because triple zaka is my least favorite jump. I like to get warmed up with all the rest of my triples. We'll come back to five now. The next is triple toe. Get back over my right side and quickly slice my blade out so I could stay on my feet. Let's go on to triple flip. Alright, let's go for the triple lutz. has one element that at least one element that they feel iffy about and that's the mental game right is that you have to face that element that you're not so good at and spend extra time on it so that you have the confidence to nail it in competition all the really good athletes are able to bounce back between elements so that when they do make mistakes and everyone makes mistakes they can they know the game they know the rules so if they miss a really hard jump that's a point getter at the beginning, they can swap it out at later on. It's all about knowing the rules, how many jump boxes you get, and how you maximize on those points. You guys just watched all the elements, single, double, triple. That's it from me guys, I'm Marina Gasu. Thanks for watching. Jumps with me.